Bro, let's go film like an intro for the vlog. Good morning, freediving family. Today we are going diving in caves because we love caves. So this is Shark Cove and it's meant to have just like incredible waves. It's on the north shore of Oahu and the swell, the waves have been pumping for the last week and finally it's like died down to the stage um, where it's diveable. So we're gonna go dive it and I'm pumped, let's go. Go away, rain. So a local diver called Mitch Brown told us of a cave that you can enter the water from here. So it's like it opens up in the in the top of the rock bed um, and you go through it and then under and out to the ocean. So we're looking for that cave. Just kind of like splitting up to look for this cave entrance. There's a lot of area to cover to find like one little hole in these rocks. Just look at the terrain here and we're looking for one teeny tiny little opening somewhere. I'm not sure we're going to find it. We might get lucky, fingers crossed. We did not find the cave, by the way. The Cave of Wonders has eluded us, and just like absolute peasants, we have to enter the water from the rocks. <laughs> like it can be here it's still really nice it's a little bit milky after all that swell if you can see the kind of landscape that we're in you know like these really like jagged dramatic rock walls and caves around it's gonna be a really fun dive Rain is pouring down upon the memory of the storm the first heavy kind of thing that we found was this archway. I had a little look down at the bottom because you never know where these little cracks can lead. I was hoping it opened up into a big cave, but no. You are not, you're not alone. You are not, you're not alone. We found a huge overhanging rock and I thought there's got to be something under this, there's got to be something going on. Oh, and we were right. Such cool caves. <laughs> There were so many openings, we literally explored every single one, swimming through every little bit and taking photos along the way. Because, you know, like, cave photos are really cool. You are not, you're not alone. This place was so incredible. Everywhere you looked, there was some kind of a crack to swim down into, some overhang, some crevice. It was actually kind of frustrating because every little hole could have opened up into some huge cave. And so we had to, you know, explore every single little crack, every single little hole, and for the most part, they, uh, they all turned into nothing. <laughs> so do you remember that cave we started the video with where we're like looking for uh, the entrance on the top side? I'm pretty sure I just found it underneath. So I'm gonna have a little look. We'll have a little see. I have been told that when you go in from the ocean side, it should look like pitch black for a little bit, but then you can see the light. So I'll just have a little look. Dark in there, and we are not going. Uh, 
sound like a really cool like like tunnel. No. I only saw I only, I only went through one part of it. I need to find the rest of it now. So it turned. <laughs> Of a much big tunnel. The cave was really big. Stranded on the side of the long <laughs> time. <laughs> wow, we found like another big complex. That's sick. Now it's time to explore. It's huge in there. Drive for miles out in the failing light. Brave the wind and lightning and meet you in the night. You are not, you're not alone. Oh. safe to say that the caves at Shark Cove are bloody excellent. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get out of the water now. <laughs> we're going to find where we left our flip-flops. I can't even bloody say the word. They're called thongs, alright? Not flip-flops. Now there is one final cave I want to show you in this video. I'm going to just pop it here because I promised the people who showed me where it was that I wouldn't tell anyone the location. But it is just phenomenal. It is called The Doorway and you can see why. Such a spectacular cave. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. But that was not the end of the day because later on we got an invitation to go for a cheeky afternoon shark dive. Maldo. Yes. Are you ready to dive with sharks? Always. Coming for a dive with the sharks today is Bree by the sea. Hi Bree. So this is the boat we're taking out and we're heading out with Deep Blue Eco Tours. They are an operator on the north shore of Oahu and uh, they take people out to dive and snorkel and swim with sharks. So look who else has come along for the shark dive. Dan and Kristen, hello. As we motored out, the Deep Blue Eco Tours team gave us a good safety briefing on how to interact safely with the sharks. Hey Dan, oh. are you feeling a bit seasick buddy? Now I've got my here now. <laughs> well, the sharkies are here. You pumped, Bray. <laughs> Is that what the sharks do? I don't know, I don't know. What do the sharks do, Bray? <laughs> So I'm here with Cal, who is the owner of uh, Deep Blue Eco Tours, who run the shark snorkeling, uh, shark snorkeling, shark swimming, shark diving experience. All of the above, right? Yeah. Uh, and so we've just basically shot off the north shore of uh, Oahu, and we're going to hop in the water with sharks now. So, Cal, if there's two things you could tell me about how to dive with these sharks, what would they be? Eye contact and being calm. Nice, slow breathing rhythm. Sharks like it when you look them in the eye, right? They actually don't love it, and that's how, <laughs> that's how we're doing it. <laughs> All right, let's go! We were told not to make any big splashes in the water, which included how we got into the water. Look at everyone doing smooth, easy entries, and then look at me. <laughs> These sharks here are Galapagos sharks. It's my first time in the water with Galapagos sharks, and uh, man, it, they, they were everywhere. There are lots of sharks! <laughs> Galapagos sharks are typically found on reef, but the reason that these sharks come out to the middle of the ocean is that for the past 50 odd years or so, there was a commercial crabbing operation uh, in this area. The commercial crab boats would pull up their catch from the seafloor, all the sharks would be drawn to it. So now, any time a boat comes to this region and moors up, the sharks would simply come up, drawn to the sound of the engines. 
Now, of course, Dan, the cheeky bugger, scared the living shit out of me. This was definitely the most sharks I've been around in the open ocean. And uh, even though you might think that, you know, at any given time, something can be coming up from behind you, we never really had that feeling just because the sharks were so placid and so happy for us to swim along with them. I hope you like that video. Make sure you give me a little thumbs up. Oh, there's the door swinging into my head. A thumbs up and subscribe for more freediving videos. Catch you next week and have a bloody good one. I'll see you in the water somewhere. <laughs>